Good day, kids. Welcome to our math class. This is Mr. Alan Delero, your grade four math teacher from Balangasan Central Elementary School. Please join me as we go into the world of numbers. Children, we are now on quarter three, module six. After going through this lesson, you are expected to visualize the perimeter of any given plane figure in different situations. Measure the perimeter of any plane figure using appropriate tools. Find the perimeter of triangle squares, rectangles, parallelograms, and trapezoid. Before we proceed with this module, take this pretest first to find how much you already know about the lesson. Uh, this is 10 item pretest. Encircle the letter of the correct answer. Okay, we have number one. We chose the correct line partition of the given perimeter. The total perimeter is 12 units. Two, which illustration shows 20 units to determine the perimeter. Three, John, John's house measures 14 meters length and eight meters width. What is the total measurement of his house? What measuring tool is best to measure the length of a classroom? Let's check your answers. And for number one, the answer is letter A. Number two is letter B. Number three is letter C. Number four is letter A. Let's continue. Given both triangular kite that has a perimeter of 45 centimeters, which of the figure shows the measurement of a kite? Number six, a Boy Scout Nick. Nickerchief has three sides with a perimeter of 90 centimeters. What is the measurement of each side? What is the total? Well, what is the formula in finding the perimeter of a triangle? Okay, for number five, the answer is letter C. Number six is letter A. And number seven is letter B. Find the perimeter of the given figure. Number nine, if one side of a square is seven centimeters, what is the perimeter? And number 10, what is the perimeter of a rectangle if the length is 30 centimeters and the width is 20 centimeters? And for number eight, the answer is letter C. Number nine is letter D. And number 10 is letter A. Solve as fast as you can. Number one, number two, number three, number four and number five. And for the answer, in number one is 10, number two, 50, number three, 26, number four, 75, number five, 51. Choose the correct answer in the box that describes each sentence. So it's guessing time, you have to guess the figure being described. Number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Okay, for number one, the answer is square. Number two, meter stick. Number three, rectangle. Number four, parallelogram. And number five, triangle. I'm going to read the problem. Tina Boat, a square handkerchief. Each side measures 30 centimeters long. Tina wants to find out the length of each side of her handkerchief. How can she do this? Okay, to solve the problem, let us get the measurement of each side. So there are 30 units in each side. How many sides? Okay, there are four sides. So to get the perimeter, you have to add all the sides of a square handkerchief. That's 30 centimeters plus 30 centimeters plus 30 centimeters plus 30 centimeters equals 120 centimeters. So perimeter 
means the sum of the measures of all sides of a plane figure of polygon. It is the distance around a polygon. If the polygons are triangle, octagon, nonagon, and decagon, the perimeter is, is obtained by adding all the sides. Jenny has a rectangular table. It measures six units long and three units wide. What is the perimeter of her table? So another way is perimeter of a rectangle equals two times width plus two times length, where P stands for the perimeter and W stands for width and length stands for length. The above formula is applicable only to rectangle. Okay, now this is the rectangular table. We have here six units, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six units long and three units wide. So the formula equals two times width plus two times length. Given the length is six units, the width is three units. So 2 times 3, which is the width, equals 6, plus 2 times 6, which is the length, is 12. So 6 plus 12 equals 100, equals 18 units. So the perimeter is, the perimeter of our table is 18 units. So if we are going to count the blue one here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plus one, two, three, four, five, six. So six plus six is 12. One, two, three, plus one, two, three. So three plus three is six. So 12 plus six equals 18. Uh, to get the perimeter of any figures, we need to measure the length. So for the small objects, we can use the roller the inch roller or centimeter roller. But for the larger objects, we can use the meter stick and the measuring tape. So we use inch and centimeters ro uh, rollers on small objects and larger objects, meter sticks or measuring tape. And for the miles and kilometer, uh, that is for long distances. You can abbreviate these measurements. You have here, uh, inches, cm for centimeters, m for meter, and km for kilometer. Okay, the chart uh, shows the formula in finding its perimeter. We have here uh, column one for the figures, and column two for the name of the figure, and the formula in finding its perimeter for the third column. We have here the square and the formula perimeter equals side times four or perimeter equals side one plus side two plus side three plus side four. The rectangle, we have here perimeter equals length plus length plus width plus width. Or P perimeter equals two times length plus two times width. Parallelogram. Okay, we have your perimeter equals A plus A plus B plus B. Okay, add all the sides. Triangle is one and the trapezoid. Okay, count me. Count the number of units to determine the perimeter of each figure. For number one, uh, for the length, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six, another six. So 6 plus 6 is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. So 12 plus 8 equals 20. This one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 plus 7 is 14. 1, 2, 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. So 14 plus 6 equals 20 units. The perimeter is 20 units. This one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And for number 3, we have 6 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5. So 6 plus 6 is 12. 
5 plus 5 is 10. So 12 plus 10 equals uh, 12 plus 10 is 24. Sorry, the answer is 24. And for number, I uh, know 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 12 plus uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. 5 plus 5 is 10. So the answer 12 plus 10 is 22, not 24, sorry. And this one, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 1, 2, 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. So 8 plus 6 is 14. This one, 1, 2, 3, number 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 plus 10, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 plus 6, 12. So 20 plus 12. 20 plus 12 is not 36. It is 32. Okay. Correction. The answer for number 3 is... You have to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 plus 6 is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. So 12 plus 10 is 22. Correction. Then for number 5, so the answer for number 3 is 22 units, not 24. This is wrong. And for number 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 plus 6 is 12. So 20 plus 12 is 32, not 36. Correction, not children. Okay. Okay, right. The measuring tool appropriate to the given objects. Choose your answer from the box. So we have your measuring tape, meter stick, protractor, and roller. Okay, let's review for uh, small objects. We can use the roller. And for the larger objects, we can use the measuring tape or meter stick. And for the blackboard, we can use the meter stick or measuring tape. tape. Number two, laptop. We can use the roller. The length of school building. We can use the measuring tape or meter stick. And for number four, four, handkerchief, roller, picture frame, roller. Okay, match column A with column B by finding the perimeter of, of these figures. Write the letter of your answer in the blank provided before the number. Okay, for number one, 20. So 20 and, and it has, the side is 20 and it has four sides. So 20 times four equals, answer is letter V, 18. This one, the rectangle, 12, then four. So 12 plus 12, 24, 24 plus eight is letter A, 32. Okay, for number three, nine, nine plus nine, 18, 18 plus nine is 27. Uh, number four, 22 plus 22, 44, 44 plus 18, nine plus nine, 44 plus 18 equals letter D, 62 meters, five, 12, plus 8, 20. This is uh, trapezoid. So 20 plus 15. Thirty-five. Thirty-five plus 8. Letter C, 43. Okay. We have here... Activity six, show the perimeter of its figure by drawing the line partitions. So you are asked to 
draw a line here no, for number one up to five. Do it. Uh, activity seven, complete the table. We have here the objects for uh, column A or column B, draw and write the measurements and the perimeter. And for column three or C, find the perimeter. Activity eight, find me. Find the formula and perimeter of its figure. And for number one, it is a rectangle. And the formula is, okay, look at the answer. And for the perimeter is 32, 12 plus 12, 24, 24, plus eight, 32. Uh, number two is a triangle. Okay, perimeter equals side plus side one plus side two plus side three, and the perimeter is 25. For number three, 13 times four, a side times four, or perimeter equals side one plus side two plus side three plus side four, and the perimeter is 52. Number two, ah, uh, no, number four, 25. Okay. Uh, the perimeter is 75 meters. And for number five, okay, so 40 times uh, 160. Uh, 40 times four is 160 centimeters. Okay, you for activity nine, uh, measure your house. using the appropriate tool for measurements. Or you draw a house here, then write the measurements in centimeters, of, then find the perimeter. Okay, for your quiz, we have 10 items. Encircle the letter of the correct answer. 10 items. And for the additional activities, you have to follow directions. Follow number one, draw a trapezoid. Number two, measure its sides. Then write the measurements and its current corresponding sides. Three, write, a form, write the formula to find the perimeter of the figure you drew. Then find the perimeter. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe our youtube channel thank you and keep safe everyone